Tell you what, this was this is what we'll do. We'll do this cute little intraagial thing. We'll call it the thought experiment. We'll get all the 18 year olds together and put them in a dark room with electrifying music that stimulates the release of sexual hormones. Uh, and they'll dance. We'll call it a prom. And what we'll do is we'll have the 18-year-old women hang out with 18-year-old guys. Uh, being that 18-year-old guys are about a decade less mature than the women. And we'll hook them up and cause depression, stress, and anger through the abundance of telomerase, the anti-aging chemical on the ends of their DNA which will spurn violence, suicide, um, the depressing uh, music, rock and roll, um, and uh, really lazy societal things like uh, bad television sitcoms about 20-somethings that pretty much are just all hanging out talking about life like they matter and just uh, make it seem like boring stuff like How I Met Your Mother or Friends or Big Bang Theory is just this fabulously interesting shit. And the fact that all these uh, uh, abundance of chemicals are uh, like rising and with like the high amounts of testosterone in the males and the high amounts of progesterone in the, ma in the females uh, you know, even more violent, chauvinistic attitudes, whiny women, and we'll create a whole bunch of these television shows for MTV, like uh, Jersey Shore, and just everything on TV will suck, but we'll sell it like it's the most awesome thing ever. And not only that, um, we'll make it so half the population get divorced because the women are hanging out and marrying dudes are like a decade less mature than they are. So it'd be like mommies babysitting their children when they're with their own husbands. And the guys will feel like they're nagged to death. So it'll just burn a lot of divorce and it'll create a lot of weddings because they'll just go back to the same age group like with people that are stupid enough to eat ice cream and then get the headache and then go over it again. Kind of like a meth addict will smoke meth even when the teeth are falling out and they're wrinkled and they can't figure out why nobody likes them because of their aggro attitude and their uh, uh, mean-spiritedness towards other people that judge them for being drug addicts. And uh, we'll do that for a while, maybe a hundred years. And we'll call, cause the telomere attrition of children born to guys under the age of 35, uh, like inbreeding. So we'll spawn the society that is like incest meets pedophilia because the women are so much more mature. And the inbreeding causes the telomere attrition, but this uh, breeding with the men under the age of 35 causes it probably an even greater telomere attrition and will rise rates of cancer and depression and then sell a bunch of drugs and make a whole bunch of money that way with the telomeres overabundance and will completely shun the older male and will stave it off for a little bit longer by uh, perpetuating a MILF cougar accepting culture even though uh, the uh, uh, older male culture with the younger female culture, old guys rule with girl power would uh, create the strongest uh, offspring, just like every other plant and animal. We'll we'll uh, we'll push that aside, and not even mention it. We'll work on stuff like homophobia and racism, but really push it in sexism, and then push aside the true thing among the heterosexuals that will cause uh, uh, strong offspring by re-educating uh, people by the uh, education system based on age grouping and age uh, dynamics on television rather than education level or intelligence level. We'll just group them together by an arbitrary, ar arbitrary number about uh, when they were born. So all the people born 
1979 will graduate in 1998 regardless of their intelligence or levels of compassion for all life. And we'll, what we're doing that will wipe out thousands of species and cause a couple world wars and genocide. It'll be great. How would you destroy Western society for television ratings? Nah, just ignore me. I'm nothing. Just some dude named Lucas Werner that doesn't know jack shit. Whatever you do, don't go to Conversation Our Age. ConversationRage.Weebly.com And no, don't be my girlfriend. Just date other gray-haired old dudes, even if they're homeless. And only date your own age group and crash society by hanging out with Talamare's abundant people your own age and men that are about a decade uh, less mature than you and create a bunch of telomere kids uh, that is probably more telomere than even inbreeding, which is also awful. We'll just do that. We'll not go to conversationrage.weebly.com and hook up with Lucas Warner and be his girlfriend. That's absurd. We'll make him die alone.